Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this noob with the Gravity Fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the Ector Slam! Oh, there it is! Passing forward! There's your slam! There's the dunk! Okay guys, so are you ready to grind this fruit? So first up, we're gonna grind the bandits. With the help of our first skill, the Gravity Push, you only need to hit them three times. To defeat one set of bandits, I think that's really easy. Our goal here is to reach level 10, and when you reach that level, off to our next island. So in the Fountain City, you're just gonna lure one Galley Pirate with the use of your left clicks. And after that guys, use your Z skill, the Gravity Push, and dodge to your side. Guys, the goal here is to dodge his range attack, and that's it. Guys, don't worry. Long as you're in the wall, this mob cannot damage you, guys, except for the range attack, okay? So you're gonna grind here until you reach level 75. Let's check our stats. Blast Fruits 129, Million Defense 48. One more thing, we've unlocked our F skill, yes, the Boulder Flight. Again, for our next island, we got the Desert. So here, we're gonna start defeating the Desert Officers. My tip is to hit them from above so that you won't need to lure them again. You can see we skip the desert bandits but don't worry guys, this is the fastest way to grind. So you're gonna grind here until you reach level 90. Next island is the frozen village. First head inside the cave and don't forget to buy the sky jump, enhancement, and slash tap. After that, start defeating the snow bandits. They're easy to defeat. Same strategy with the desert officers. You're gonna grind here until 105. Next is the yeti. Using your first skill, yes, the gravity push. You're gonna push him far away, wait for your skill to cool down, and repeat. From here on, we're gonna do server hop. Just a reminder, watch out for bullies. We're gonna do server hop until you reach level 130. Next area is the Marine Fortress. So here, we're gonna start defeating the Vice Admiral. One more thing, we've already unlocked our second skill, the Gravity Obeisance. This skill really looks powerful. Do you agree? If you agree, comment it on the comment section. For those who might ask, yes guys, we skip the Petty Officers. We're gonna keep on grinding Vice Admiral until you reach level 220. Stat check. Last Fruits 440, melee and defense 110. Next area is the prison. So we have three bosses here. The Warden at 220. Next is the Chief Warden at 230. Last is Swan at 240. So guys, how do you defeat them all? Do the wall strat, so lure them here. Use all your skills and that's it. The Warden cannot damage you, which is easy. The Chief Warden, same guys. This boss cannot damage you. But for the boss, a 240s one can damage you. But guys, I'm gonna show you the damage. There you go, just maintain distance. First, we're gonna lure the Swan. There you go. Let's check the damage that this boss can inflict. Guys, did you see that? So it's kinda low, so you don't need to worry. Just keep on defeating all bosses until you reach level 350. Let's check our stats. Blast Fruit 750, Million Defense 150. Next area is the Magma Village. We're just gonna defeat one mob and that mob is the Magma Admiral. So how do you defeat him? Again, you're gonna use your skills. After that, dodge this skill and that's it. Gamer Nom, is there an easy way like the Wall Strat or the Rock Strat? No guys, you need to be patient but don't worry on the next boss. When you reach level 425, it will be a lot easier. So again, at 425, we're gonna leave this area. Let's check our stats again. Plus Fruits 878, melee and defense 200. Next area is the underwater city. Again, I told you, everything is easier. The boss here is the Fishman Lord, so you just need to lure him. And we are going to do the wall strat. So you're gonna use your skills. Z and X skill is good. You can also use your combat, your left clicks to damage him. But guys, we will unlock our fourth skill. And that skill is the Meteor Pitch. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Guys, yes, you can hit your enemy with this. Even if he's inside the building. We're gonna leave this area at level 500. Let's check the stats. Plus Fruits 1000, melee defense 250. Almost done with the first T. Next up, the Skylands. We're gonna defeat Whisper until you reach level 575. Yes, guys, we're just gonna stay in this rock. Whisper cannot damage you here. See that, guys? Don't be shy. Again, use all your skills. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 575. Next boss is the Thunder God. For the strategy, same with the Magma Admiral. Use your skills. For this boss, create distance. Because he's gonna use that if you don't create distance. So again, use your skills. Dodge, create distance, and that's it. You're gonna grind here until you reach level 675. 
Stat check. Melee and defense 330. Blocks foots 1,365. Final Island is the Fountain City. Our target here is Cyborg. Check this out guys. With the use of my C-Skill, its impact, I was able to lure Cyborg here as on the location of the Gale Pirates to defeat him easily. You can try on doing that to make things easy. Listen guys, you're gonna defeat Cyborg until you reach level 725. Yes, not 700, 725. Stat check. Melee defense 350. Blast foots 1478. And don't forget to do the prison quest. After that, we're going to the second scene. Are you ready to continue grinding? Okay, for for our first target, the Mercenaries. You only need two sets of Gravity Obeisance and Meteor Pitch to defeat the Mercenaries. But just in case you miss one, you can always use your Gravity Push to finish the quest. You're gonna do this until you reach level 775. We're gonna skip the Diamond because it's far away and we need to defeat lots of mobs for more mastery. For the stats, melee and defense 380, blast fruits 1568. Next up, the Swan Pirates. These mobs are easy to defeat. One Gravity Obeisance, yes, your X skill, one C skill, one Z skill, and one X skill. I think that's enough to defeat them. For those who might ask, yes, we skipped the boss Jeremy in order for us to unlock the Meteor Rain. I'm going to show you the Meteor Rain. Here it is. We're gonna grind here until we reach level 900. Again, we skip the boss here. Next island is the green zone. Target here is the marine captains. You need to defeat 9. Don't worry guys, we're just gonna level up here 25 times. And for the strategy, we're gonna use the X skill. After that, Z skill and the V skill. There you go guys, you can wipe them all out with that. I hope this strategy helps. We're gonna leave this area at 925. After that, Next target is Fajita or Fujitora. Guys, he's a user of the Gravity Fruit. He has the Z and the V skill, but don't worry, we have more skills. We have the X and the C skill, so there you go. We're gonna skip the next island, the Graveyard, with the Zombies and the Vampires. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1000. When you reach this level, you're gonna unlock the title, The Adventurer. Stat check, 450, melee and defense, block fruits, 2100. Next island is the Snow Mountain. So here, we're gonna defeat just one mob, the Snow Troopers. So again, you need to defeat 8, lure 4, use your X skill, 1 Z skill, and your V skill, and that's enough. Again, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1100. And after that, next island is the Hot and Cold. We're gonna target the Lab Subordinate. So guys, we're just gonna level up 50 times here. After that, my favorite mob or boss, the Smoke Admiral. Guys, you cannot use your V skill and your C skill when you're inside his building. So guys, to use it properly, you need to lure him outside and use your skills. Okay, so I hope that this one helps. Because we're gonna grind here lots of levels. Yes, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1250. Let's check our stats before we leave this area. Blocks fruits max, defense 850, melee 600. Next area is the cursed ship. For our first target, we have the ship deckhands. We're gonna level up here 50 times, yes. I don't know how, but we were able to hit our enemies with our meteors even though we're inside a ship, so that's good. Again, at 1300, next mob, the ship stewards. This is the same with the ship deckhands. We're gonna level up here 50 times. And after that, we're gonna proceed to our next island. So again, at 1,350, let's check our stats first. Melee 600, defense 1,150, max Dox fruits. For our next island, the Ice Castle. So here, we're gonna start with the Arctic Warriors. Same with the previous mobs, you're gonna level up here 50 times. There is a chance that you can get the hidden key when defeating Arctic Warriors and you can use that to open the chest that has the Sword Ring Goku. Okay, so at level 1400, you can start defeating the boss in this island, the Awakened Ice Admiral. So here it is. Guys, you cannot use your V skill and your C skill to damage him. So my suggestion is lure him outside. But make sure to lure him in this wall because if he goes outside his castle, he will go back inside. Okay, so lure him in this wall. And if you do that properly, everything will be easy. Again, guys, you're gonna grind here until you reach level 1475. After that, final island, the Forgotten Island. So here, we're gonna defeat the Tide Keeper. So here it is. Just lure him in this rock and everything will be easy. He will not summon his Sea Beast, which will make your fight easier. So there you go. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1500. So when you reach that level, make sure to finish the Coliseum quest. Let's check our stats first. 
Max Black's Fruits Defense 1550, Mili 650. Next up, head to the green zone. Talk to Mr. Captain and guys, welcome to the third C. Okay, so let's not waste any time here. Let's move on to our next target, the Pirate Millionaires. So here, my technique is guys, lure your enemies without hitting them. Okay, they will stop chasing you. Here, you can burst them with your V and your X skill. One more X skill and finish it up with one C skill. With that strategy, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1550. Next up, we're gonna do server hop with the stone. For the strategy guys, I don't have any wall strat or rack strat here if you have just commented on the comment section because we're gonna grind here 125 levels. So at 1675, stat check, blocks fruits max, defense 2075, melee 650, next up, the Hydra Island. We're gonna skip 4 mobs and go straight to the Island Empress, she's located here. So just use your Z skill to push her inside her castle and that's it. We're gonna be using our wall strategy. Yes, you can damage her with the C and the V skill but I don't suggest the V skill. Just use your first 3 skills. Grind fast, do server hop and we're gonna live here at level 1750. Next island, the Great Tree. So here, we're gonna go straight with the Kilo Admiral. You can defeat her in two ways. First stop is go on top of this rock. Use your C and your Z skill to damage her, but to make things faster, you can go down so that you can use all your skills to damage her. So I suggest fight her face to face to make things faster. If you notice, we've been doing server hop until this boss. So guys, this is the last one. We're gonna leave this area at 1,800. Let's check our stats. Max Black's Fruits in defense. Melee 800. Next island is the Floating Turtle. We're gonna skip our first mob and go straight with the Fishman Captains. You can defeat these mobs with just one combo, so there's no strategy here. You just need to be patient. So guys, you're gonna leave this area when you reach level 1825. Next up, the Forest Pirates. We need to defeat 8. For those who don't know, there is a wall strat here, but I think we won't be needing that because we have the X and the V skill. And the cooldown is kind of short, so guys, it's really good for grinding, okay? So at 1,900, we're heading towards the jungle pirates. You need to defeat 8, again, with the same combo. V and X skill, the damage is really high. We're gonna grind here 25 levels. And at 1,925, we are moving to our next target, the Musketeer Pirates. So same with the jungle pirates, they're easy to defeat using our combo. Leveling up is really fast. We're gonna grind here 50 levels and leave at 1,975. For the stats, max blocks fruits, max defense melee 1,325. Next up, we're heading to our second to the last area, the Hunted Castle. Take note that we're just gonna defeat one mob here, the Reborn Skeletons. Yes guys, there are lots of mobs here but I decided to pick this mob because He's so easy to defeat compared to the other mobs. Again, this is a guide to make things faster. At level 2075, we're gonna leave this area and head towards Sea of Treats. This is the final island. First, we're gonna defeat the Peanut Scouts. Guys, this is my favorite mob in this final island because these mobs are so near the quest giver and you also get a decent experience compared to every mob in all the islands in the Sea of Treats. So guys, if you want to reach max level here, no problem with me. But if you want to grind more at 2125, you can move to Big Mom's Island and here you can start defeating the Ice Cream Chefs. They're kind of similar to the Peanut Scouts but again, Peanut Scouts are easier but this mob gives out more experience. So guys, it really depends to you. So you're gonna grind here. What I did is I grind until I reach level 2299 and for our final fight, yes, Again, with the Cake Queen. She's located here. Guys, can you use your C and V skill? No. You can only use your X and Z skill to damage her. So guys, there you go. So after that, dodge, dodge. Use your skills. Dodge. There you go. That's the only way to defeat her. I tried luring her outside. There you go. And use my C skill. But every time I hit her, I get damage. So I decided to just stay inside and fight her. Again, this is not an intelligent way to grind, but again, this is the last level. So I decided to make things harder for me, okay? And luckily, we also got the body sword. So I think this is it for this video. For the stats, again guys, max, melee, defense, and blast fruits. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom.
and gamer no mouth.